Hey, what's going on guys? Be Flatten here with a brand new video today. Today we're going to be talking about an insane glitch involving the Revolter. It is a brand new shield from DLC 6 that you can obtain during the story off of a guy named Sumo. This is the Revolter here. Now the way that it works is that when the shield is depleted you get shock and rage for 15 seconds doing massive amounts of damage. 200% damage uh, in shock damage for 15 seconds. It does work with the action still start, activate any effects that trigger on shield breaker fill, even if the uh, effect doesn't say on shield break, it says on deplete. It still does work. Uh, there's an insane glitch that you could do with this, and uh, I'm about to show and display it now. So we're going to use the Unforgiven just like we did in the Toboggan video. Nice 16k damage right at the body of the Jack Poster. Now. If we activate our Iron Cub, that is an action still start, which is going to break our shield, giving that little electrified effect next to us. 24k shock damage and 16k uh, normal damage just from the Unforgiven. Now, while that effect is still going on, and while we know we are shock enraged, drop the shield on the ground and continue firing just to show that you still have it. Okay, now it is gone. We don't have the effects next to us anymore. However, if we keep shooting our jack poster here, you'll notice that there is 16k damage and still 24k damage that is going through shock damage. Even if the effect is gone and our shield is on the ground, and we have no shield or revolter equipped. Now, in order to transfer this over, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up our revolter and we're going to automatically equip it. Now our revolter is equipped, and what we're going to do is we're going to unequip it into our backpack so we have 46 out of 50 in our backpack now what we do is we're going to map transition and we're going to map transition into pandora and into arms race we're going to load into arms race now i've already done the arms race mission where you activate the generators and everything and that's it uh and i've only gone into arms race once in order to uh test out the glitch before recording it still works and uh, if you do this properly, if you follow the steps that I did, you should have the Revolter activating in arms race without having the shield at all. Uh, we have the uh, glitch equipped, and uh, it'll transfer through map transfers even while persist into arms race while having no Revolter, of course. So we're going to activate arms race, and if we do this properly... What we're even going to do is we're going to go to photo mode and we're going to go to damage numbers and show just so that you guys can see the shock that is transferring over. You saw it on our Unforgiven, we had about a 24 25k shock damage pass over and we're going to use a non-elemental weapon here. We'll use a COV gun here. So this COV pistol has no elemental damage equipped to it and there is nothing else influencing any elemental damage whatsoever. We're gonna go fight a random mob. We'll go fight a spider ant over here or something. A stag, that works. Now, there's shock damage numbers that we're showing there. If you look really closely, there is two different types of damage that is passing through here. There is the blue number, which is shock damage, and there is the white number, which is kinetic damage. The revolter is persisting, and it is staying through the uh, arms race, uh, the arms race DLC. There is no elemental damage on here, but it will persist every single shot that you do. It is all revolter that is passing over, and that's why these things are dying pretty quickly. Um, we can go take on a feral stag over here. All shock damage that is passing through, that's all shock damage. Shock damage, it's all passing through. Look at that, he's actually electrified, just to prove that that is shock damage passing through. That's the revolter shield effect. Uh, so if you follow the exact steps that I did, you'll be able to uh, map transition this over to uh, any map that you want. But this is mostly going to be effective in arms race because uh, you can't bring a revolter into arms race at all or equip or use it. So uh, these guys are just dying really, really quickly because they have shields on. So we're one shot in the shields and we're one shot in their HP. Uh, it is insanely overpowered because the revolter, when you're shock enraged, you have 200% uh, extra shock damage that's passing through. So that means we always have an active 200% shock damage that is happening in arms race. This is the easiest way to make arms race uh, runs 
better weapons that you get, the more damage you're gonna do, of course, but uh, they can make even starter weapons shine. The COV pistol is already great on its own, but we put 200% shock damage is even better. Um, saw this post originally on Reddit and I'm just uh, replicating it, and it still does work and persists through all the uh, all the hot fixes that has passed over recently. So feel free to try this out for yourself. Actually, while we're in Fight for a Life, let's see if it stays through Fight for a Life. Yep, it passes through Fight for a Life as well. That's excellent. Uh, feel free to try this out for yourself. Get some easy arms race runs. There's a lot of new items that are available right now in the arms race DLC. Um, let me know if this helps you. And uh, yeah, my name is B Flattened, and I'm signing on out of here. Take care, all. Later.